Hey guys, before we get into the video, I just want to say that just like last week's video, if you guys are agoraphobe or more specifically hepophobic, this may not be the video for you as there is no explicit or gory content. However, I am making art using inks that are so similar to human blood, I feel like I should give a warning. If that's not your thing, don't worry. Next week's video, we'll be taking a look at normal black ink, but if you guys are okay with it and it doesn't bother you, let's roll that awesome intro. Today we are taking a look at the Winsor & Newton Brick Red Ink. Now this is a bit of a sequel because last week we took a look at the Winsor & Newton Deep Red Ink. Now will this dethrone the champ because the Deep Red Ink is my favorite red ink of all time? Let's find out. Now the packaging on this is pretty nice. Very beautiful illustration of a Dalmatian chilling in front of a brick wall. This inkwell sells for $4.99 to $5.99 depending on where you go. And opening up the very lovely packaging, we get the inkwell itself. Now very different coloring compared to what we got on the packaging. That's pretty standard with these inkwells. And on top of that, again, I love the look of this inkwell. So very nice, very sturdy glass. Opening it up, we can reveal our ink inside. Very, very red. Not as red as the deep red one, but that's what we have our Batman sketchbook to test it out on. very smooth ink and I love this shade of red. It is very similar to the deep red ink, but I feel like this is a lot more brighter. Comparing it, you can see it definitely is a lot brighter. I mean, this ink is very, very vibrant. It is a gorgeous bright red. Very, very, very different from our deep dark red. Now, it's not as blood red as the other one and I'm perfectly fine with that. Still is a beautiful red. Let's try it with our quill nib instead of our normal dip pen. Very nice. Now one thing I did notice, and I think it's because it's a much lighter pigment, but even with our normal dip pen, the color change, which we did notice the last few colorings we used, where it starts out darker and then as you make your line it gets lighter. This isn't the case. The lines are very consistent, so I really, really like that. Now that was more noticeable in person than on camera. Even in person, these lines are very consistent. They say the same shade of red. So very very smooth ink and that's really something I've come to expect with Windsor & Newton is that their ink is very very smooth and well made. Very high quality which would explain the price for the little bit you get but the little bit you get you'd be surprised what you can do with that. I'm really excited to see how this is going to look with a brush test. Very nice. I am getting a little bit of blood uh, feel. Very, very nice. I love that. Very beautiful shade of red. A lot lighter than our dark red. And it's not as blood red as the other one. I am noticing it is more spotty, which is very interesting. I love how bright this is. This looks amazing. Let's do a direct contrast with the actual deep red ink from last week's review. They are very similar, however, the brick red is just so much brighter. Though I do like the depth and the pigment of the deep red ink. And I like how smoother it is, like you can actually blend more. This one I'm noticing some spotting, which I'm not liking. That's an interesting little difference between the two, because I was expecting more of an extreme difference, but instead, the difference is pretty minor. In fact, I'm pretty sure I could actually water this ink down to match this ink. I'm not going to do that, but I'm pretty sure you could do that. This definitely leads more to that flower color than blood color, though I'm still getting a little bit of blood. So, you know, I'm not going to complain because that's a really nice way to use it. So I think the next step for our test is to do a quick illustration. Now for today's illustration, we're actually going to be revisiting last week's illustration and we're going to be adding to it. Now this wasn't because I couldn't think of something else to illustrate illustrate with red ink. On contraire, I have quite a few things I want to illustrate with red ink now. But I simply thought it'd be really nice to go over the areas of red that are on Raf's actual design and then use a different shade of red to go through over it. I retake the sides so that we can get some nice clean lines and I just think it's going to be a really fun experience and on top of that we're going to be actually combining two inks which is something we've really never done on the channel before. So with that said, well that super time lapse.
And we're done. Guys, I love how this piece came out. The brick red ink really did give this piece that pop it needed. In person, it looks awesome. On camera, it looks awesome. And that poster looks amazing. And that poster is available on my ArtStation account for a $1 digital download. Just like last week's illustration before we added the brick red ink to this piece. Overall, I have to say that the brick red ink is a phenomenal red ink. I personally like the deep red ink more. And that is still my favorite ink. But the brick red ink definitely held its own. It's everything that the deep red ink does just in a lighter shade of red. And if you like that lighter shade of red, I heavily recommend this ink. Though personally, I think the deep red ink is better, which is why it still keeps the title of my favorite red ink. And the brick red ink is simply an awesome complementary piece, as that's why I didn't illustrate an original piece. I really wanted to test to see how this would work complementing itself with another ink and compare and contrast the two, which is why I used as the highlights for this one. And again, it did hold its own. It's a great ink, but I prefer that deeper red, which is why I'm going to use it as my complementary red. This ink on my scale of 1 to 10 earns a rating of 9. Not my favorite red ink, definitely one that is phenomenal and I heavily recommend it. If you enjoy a lighter shade of red, go for it. But if you're one looking for two good red inks, pick up the deep red and then pick up the brick red. You will not be disappointed as both of them are phenomenal inks that complement each other well and really show how Winsor Newton has a mastery of creating amazing high quality inks. Except for their white ink, it's, it still sucks. But their other inks are great and I freaking love them. We have one more ink that we're going to test out from Winsor Newton and that is their liquid ink in black ink and I am very excited for that test. So join me next week as we take a look at that. So join me for that review next week. Let me know what you guys think of the art piece and the ink well in the comment section down below. Leave a like in the video if you enjoyed the content and subscribe to the channel for more art animation based content. I'm J-Rod Balabaro Productions. I draw the power of my own soul and as you guys have learned I also ink with power and my own soul.